Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your January 2019 general readings. Thanks for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. Thanks for all your like, share, subscribe, support, feedback, and comments. Thank you to all of you uh, who sent me holiday well wishes. They were very much appreciated. I hope everybody had a safe and blessed holiday season and welcome to the first reading of a brand new year. Uh, thank you also to all of my clients who continue to keep me so busy. Uh, with personal readings and as most of you who follow me know although I say it every time because there's always new people watching if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com I'd be delighted to work with you you can find that info and contact details by clicking on the little about button on my youtube channel's homepage, or clicking on the description bar of any of the videos I post I can usually get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours of your initial contact with more info and scheduling the reading itself is pretty decent too. I do readings full time five to six days a week. It is what I do. Uh, so I work pretty diligently with people's schedules, uh, although the sooner booked during, uh, you know, uh, the holiday and post holiday season, the better. You can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy and that link is also provided. That's really good for quick answers to the quick, fast, easier questions. Uh, for the more complex or complicated situations, the traditional readings are probably better. So send me an email and we'll go from there. All right, let's move right into this. This is for the earth sign of Taurus, our lovely bulls for the month of January 2019. Beautiful brand new year. Uh, check your rising and your moon sign videos as well if you know them uh, because they can provide additional clarification as you know general readings usually resonate a little differently for everybody all right Taurus interesting let's see what's in store for you for January 2019 okay we begin with the eight of wands followed by the ace of pentacles we have the Ace of Swords, followed by the Ten of Swords, Judgment, followed by the Seven of Pentacles, and Justice, followed by the Nine of Swords. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is Temperance. Hmm. I'm going to pull a clarifying card for Temperance. It's about being balanced this month, particularly in your emotions, not being too emotionally spontaneous or impulsive, particularly in making decisions or overreacting to things. Let's see what temperance, why is temperance here? Needing to be balanced regarding something. Uh, soulmate karmic connection could be in the romance department could be best friend or a karmic situation so it looks like there's uh, that's on board and needing to be needing to be very balanced particularly mentally emotionally spiritually about the situation probably for many of you this is going to be within a relationship although the nature of that relationship may vary depending on who's watching and I, I have to say too particularly after looking at this spread some of you I feel like it might be about a particular relationship and there's a decision that needs to be made and you may not be sure which decision to make within the month of January yet some of you the decision or choice in front of you may be about how to deal with something else or another offer or opportunity that's coming in but that will affect uh, your primary relationship um, and just needing to be balanced because temperance is about holding opposite extremes in balance, in unison, in being very grounded, knowing who you are. Uh, and, and when we are very grounded, particularly mentally, emotionally, spiritually, uh, we are less prone to kind of fly off the handle or overreact, particularly very emotionally, uh, because we know what the truth is. We know who we are, what we're about, and... Um, we're usually pretty, you know, if, when you stay grounded in that, uh, it's less likely that you're going to, you know, kind of yo-yo up and down uh, during the month of January. Now, but, but, it, but to clarify temperance, I pulled what is traditionally considered the soulmate card or a karmic connection, karmic union, or karmic situation. Some of you, it may be in job or career. Some of you, it may be in the relationship area. That's how general readings can be kind of tricky. The details and specifics may vary, but the energy and advice is, is fundamentally the same. 
So we have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles at end of December, beginning of January. Messages, news coming in, very positive, uh, probably coming in fairly quickly. Uh, the Eight of Wands can also be a card about travel. Some of you may be traveling, you know, around the end of December, beginning of January or so. Uh, and what clarifies it is the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of times I've been getting this Ace of Pentacles. Tangible new beginnings, even in a very practical way, could be a job offer for some of you, relocating for some of you, uh, perhaps some money coming in maybe unexpectedly or resources that enable you to have a brand new beginning. I feel like uh, around the end of de uh, December, beginning of January, uh, I feel like these messages will come in and it's about an opportunity. There's an offer or opportunity coming in you're, or you're starting something new. Some of you, it may be this has already come in and, you, and it's, you're actually communicating about this new beginning and beginning on this new path. For others of you, it's the message, the news coming in. It could be a job offer. Some of you, it will be a job offer, moving or relocating. And I feel like some of you may be moving or relocating for work, for business, for a project. Um, especially paired with that eight of wands and for those of you for whom that resonates and you have uh, a marriage or a significant relationship uh, you know that would make sense in, in trying to figure out what's the best decision to make moving forward because while the decision may not be about your relationship it certainly has a significant effect on it particularly if it involves moving relocating and traveling so next to that we have the ace of swords and the ten of swords so it looks like there's some news information coming out or something being revealed and illuminated which may take some of you a bit off guard um, it could be the epiphany seeing something in a new light seeing something from a fresh different perspective and what clarifies it uh, it could also be the beginning of, of conversations about something too what clarifies it is the ten of swords which usually uh, can represent you know feeling very hurt maybe feeling betrayed maybe even feeling like somebody has stabbed you in the back a sense of betrayal uh, now tens represent cycles ending so while whatever put this man face down on the ground looks very challenging maybe even traumatic it's done the worst is behind him or her the healing the golden light shining through the swords is a healing light it's time to get up and start brushing yourself off uh, the sun is rising in the background a new day is dawning and the animals are beginning to return to the scene you know i feel like for most of you actually that whatever this ten of swords this feeling hurt or feeling betrayed and this revealing this illumination about it whatever it was i whatever it is i feel like there's something i feel like it a actually already happened and maybe around the first or second week or the middle of the month or so there may be some more discussions about it you may learn something new about it um but i feel like the actual incident or whatever it was that happened that this energy stems from has is already in the past maybe the recent past maybe in the last six months last year or so but i feel like there may be new information about it or you may be talking with the other person or it could have been you that hurt somebody else there's conversations um you know words being exchanged about it talking about it and i feel like there may be some new idea or new perspective about it i don't feel for most of you that this is happening in the month of January, meaning that you're going to be finding out about something which leaves you feeling emotionally hurt and betrayed. I feel like this already happened, but that it's ha it's been this ongoing process and there's more communication around it, maybe around the second week, middle of the month or so. And you're seeing things or the other person or perhaps both of you together is seeing things in a bit of a different light. It doesn't feel, and it's helping to kind of allow this energy to continue passing regardless of how you move forward whether you move forward uh, in reconciliation with this person or you just decide to kind of continue on on your separate paths whether it's romance or friends or a best friend or something I feel like there's some a bit of enlightenment about it in a positive way for some of you um, this could have to do with uh, uh, your husband wife boyfriend girlfriend lover someone that you're very connected with someone that you saw as your soulmate or vice versa um, and they did something which hurt you i think quite badly um, and for some of you you might have done something that hurt your partner quite badly and the interesting thing is that i'm getting pretty clearly 
regardless of what the thing was, whether it was actual infidelity or cheating or the appearance of it or some other uh, thing, um, I feel like it wasn't intentionally aimed at whoever got hurt and that it wasn't that level of hurt was not intended, but it just happened nonetheless. So I feel like there's some conversations being exchanged about it, Taurus. Um, and, and you're maybe ha seeing it in a different way. You're understanding a little bit more about it, and so is the other person. Again, regardless of whether this is under a romantic umbrella or best friends or even in a, in a work situation as well. And for those of you for whom it's more like a personal relationship, I feel like these messages and this tangible new opportunity or beginning that's coming in at the end of December, beginning of the month with all these conversations about it are, is presenting the opportunity whether you choose to take it or not based on new information and new understanding of, of you know, giving you more information so that regardless of what choice you make moving forward, um, you feel like you're making it with a better sense of understanding about the situation and what actually happened and intentions and, and motives and all of that. So next to that we have judgment and the seven of pentacles. Judgment comes up, what does judgment mean? What does it mean to be judged? It, it means you be called to answer. You'll be called to account for yourself. You'll be called to answer for your decisions, good, bad, positive, negative, etc. That's what being judged means. It means you'll be asked to, to, you know, stand up there and people will say, why did you do this? Or, you know, depending on what your thing, your belief system is. But that's what it really means to be judged. In a court system, that's what it is. You have to answer for your actions, for what you did, chose, decided. Not what you wanted, not what you wished for, not what you hoped, not what you intended, but what you actually did. Your choices and decisions. That's what judgment means. And it's a pretty powerful energy. It's major arcana card and it's a pretty powerful series energy. There's an air to finality about it because judgment is what happens usually at the end of a trial, right? Before sentencing and all of that stuff. Judgment has an air of finality about it, meaning that whatever you do, whatever you choose, whatever you set into motion, you are responsible for that and you are responsible for the consequences of what you do as well. So the cost advice with judgment, you, and it's right next to justice too. Um, uh, the 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 uh, uh, advice that always accompanies this is don't be spontaneous and impulsive make the best decision that you feel you can after evaluating the entire situation after getting more information talking you know getting more of uh getting more of a better idea of the situation rather than what you had in the beginning which is you know you hurt me or i hurt you and it's just all terrible and let's just forget you know let's just go our separate ways or whatever it's like after listening and talking and carefully evaluating things because judgment is is clarified by the seven of pentacles it's taking stock at what you have invested in this situation what you have invested in this job what you have invested in this relationship and asking yourself if it is it enough to justify continuing to invest in this or should i make a decision to to go a, a different way uh to separate from this person to leave this job but i feel like the decision needs to be made very carefully after getting as much information as you feel you can so that you can make this reasonable decision and feel like it was the best decision possibly made. And that's echoed in the next two cards, which is Justice and the Nine of Swords. Justice is right next to Judgment, and, and it's, it's pretty powerful when the two of these are together. I don't often see them come out together. Justice is the reap what you sow card. It, it says that what you put into this is going to be directly affected in the outcome. What the consequences and outcome are of this are going to be directly as a result of what you do and it's next to judgment so again it's a very strong message what you choose to do with this situation is going to set the stage for something for quite some time it's going to send yourself a message it's going to send other people a message particularly about your own character so make the best decision after getting everything you feel you possibly can operate with as much transparency honor and personal integrity as possible and that will help and and ask for help from god spirit your angels and guides and that's going to help you make the best decision and and try not to over i mean contemplate it but in a reasonable non-fear-based way because there's a lot of stress anxiety and worry attached 
attached to what is the right thing to do in this situation, either you or the other person. And I never like seeing this because it represents you're focusing too much on the negative, you're overthinking it, going around and around and around. And it's, it's basically about fear of the future, which hasn't even happened yet. What do I do if this happens? What do I do if that happens? This is about make the decision not based on fear of the future. Make the decision based on the talks, the conversations, the knowledge, the understanding, thinking about it and feeling like what you've done is the best possible personal integrity and honor thing that you can do. And that's going to help kind of get you through Taurus. So uh, lovely, powerful month of growth. I don't feel like for a lot of you, there's any major decisions made about the situation during the month of January, nor do I feel like spirit is encouraging you to do it, but to think about it very seriously, to have conversations and communicate about it, to keep an open mind to, to understanding a little bit more about the situation or the influencing factors around it. Be very measured and thoughtful in how you think about this, how you contemplate this, and in how you communicate. Remember, temperance and balance, not being all over the place, is the energy and guidance for the month of January, Taurus. So that pretty much wraps up your January 2019 reading, Taurus. I hope you found it helpful. It's a very powerful reading. Again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be most happy to work with you. You can get uh, that contact info by clicking on the description bar of any of the videos I post or the little about button. Click on the little about button. You'll find on my YouTube channel's homepage. I do love and romance, of course, reconciliation potential, relationship compatibility charting, uh, career work and finance as well as investment readings and I do six and 12 month overviews uh, which I get requests for all, you know all during the year but they they're particularly popular between the months of November and February because uh, people want to kind of take a look ahead at what's coming in the main areas of their life uh, six or 12 months depending on how far ahead you want to look so uh, a few different things for you to choose for my offer a wide variety of different types of services so Taurus I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the January mid-month readings uh, I hope you all have a wonderful start to this beautiful new year and I hope to see you back here again soon joy peace and blessings to you take care bye-bye